horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. Marshal. Hi, Stanley. Anything for me, Charlie? Well, let's see. Andrews, Adams, Agnew, Ammons. Stanley Ammons. There you go, Stan. Thank you. Might as well pick up the bank's mail, too, as long as you're here. Well, look what just crawled out from under a rock. Cherokee Webster, you lop-eared old coyote. Where you been keeping yourself, huh? I've been hibernating in the shack out near Warbonnet Pass. Yeah? Well, if you came into town hoping to angle yourself another grub stake, you can just head right on out again. I've been carrying on my books for three years now. You old deadbeat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, eighty dollar, won't it? Twenty, twenty, sixty, eighty. Four double eagles. Well, I'll be... I'll take my bill, Mr. Bostick. Now I've seen everything. They're real, all right. Come on, Sharky, who'd you rob? Didn't rob nobody, Marshal. A legitimate business transaction. <clears throat> I uh, sold a mine last week. Yep, the old globe. It ain't nothing but a worked out tunnel. But a couple of gents forked over $2,000 for the title. Two gents paid $2,000 for that worthless old mine? Yeah, but don't ask me why. Yeah, now I got money enough to clear out and go back east. I was all set to leave, too. But then I got to thinking about how I owed Charlie here this bill. And daggone if I didn't figure it worth the $80 just to see his expression when I paid it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. It sounds like a mighty peculiar deal to me. Yeah? Well, there's nothing peculiar about this money, and that's all I care about. I say a little celebrating in order. If you gents will step into the back room, I'll stand everybody a treat from the private stock. <clears throat> Cherokee. Could I speak to you for a minute? The men who purchased this mine, where'd they come from? I said they was Easterners, that's all I know. But their names, they must have given you their names. Yeah, Brown, Smith. One's a lean gent with gray hair and side whiskers. Go on. Yeah, and the other fella has a, has a thick mustache. I saw him talking to him, Stanley Ammons and Cherokee. I saw them together, I tell you. Why did this have to happen to us? Cherokee said he was gonna go east after we gave him the money. Now everything's ruined. Nothing's ruined yet. Now get this straight, Lester. We're both in this too deep to pull out now. Besides, we've been through stiffer crises than this before. The bank examiners, for instance, Bank examiners are fools. As long as the books balance, they're happy. But if they get a look at the papers on the Globe Mine, we're finished. Oh, they'd find out that we loaned a lot of money to the new owners. They wouldn't know that we bought the mine and loaned the cash to ourselves and put it in our pockets. If you ask me, Lester, I'd say we've done pretty well in the two years since we came to town. Well, I'm sure we have, Wardell, but maybe we're trying to push our luck a little too far. Maybe we should clear out and find some new pickings. We'll clear out when I give the word, not before. You think I'm going to see our gravy train derailed by some doddering old desert varmint? But he can identify us, and if he does recognize us, we're finished. He can't identify us if he's dead. Dead? Oh, no, Wardell, that's going too far. Maybe you prefer long-term accommodations in a federal prison. That's everything. Cherokee! Poor old boy. You never wanted to kill poor old Cherokee. He was a nice old man. The killer couldn't be far away. Come on, man. Spread out! Something you wanted, Injun? No sign, huh? Whoever he was, he made a clean getaway. Trouble, Marshal? 
could have sworn I heard a shot. You're right, you did, Mr. Young. Some ordinary coyote gunned down old Cherokee Webster over there. Now, who would want to kill a harmless old man like that? Can you say the Cherokee was shot at close range? That right, Kimisemi. That seems to imply the killer was someone the old prospector knew and trusted. Motive not robbery, Kimisemi. Cherokee still have purse of money and carry in store. No, it wasn't anything as petty as robbery. You think maybe it'd have something to do with sale of globe mine? You'd better ride over there tomorrow and have a look around. Uh, that plenty long journey, Kimisemi. Mine other side of Orville, that war bonnet pass. If we get started early, Tunnel, we can get there by mid-afternoon. I have a hunch the key to the situation may be at that mine. Looking for something, Stanley? Uh, no, I was just checking over the records, Mr. Gray. Oh, perhaps I can help you. Uh, thank you, sir, but I found what I was looking for. Oh? Um, I wonder, may I have the rest of the day off, Mr. Gray? There's some uh, personal business I have to attend to at the county seat. Well, I don't know, Stanley. There's a lot of work to be done here. Go ahead, Lester. Don't be an old slave driver. If the lad wants a few hours off, let him have them. I guess the bank won't collapse during his absence. Hey, eh, Ammons? Thank you, sir. He's been acting funny ever since I saw him talking to Cherokee. And now he's snooping through the records here. He's up to something, I tell you. Why did you let him go? Why do you suppose? Follow him. When he gets a good, healthy distance from town, dispose of Mr. Ammons in the same manner you attended to Cherokee. Oh, no, Lord, no, not another. I can't. The first killing is always the hardest, Lester. After that, it's easy. It's easy for you. You don't have to do the dirty work. Why should I? I furnish the brains of this partnership. Now go on. Earn your share of the profits. Savvy. Footprints. Two men been here not long ago. Yeah, most likely the new owners. I'm curious to know why anyone would pay $2,000 for a presumably worthless mine. There's where the old vein ran. Looks like it's all worked out. Nothing but a lot of worthless quartz. No gold then, Kimasami. Doesn't take an expert mineralogist to answer that, Tunnel. Let's go. I've seen all of that. Maybe some man dropped it, Kimasami. Someone tried to fire this gun, but a mechanism jammed. You think him tried to kill somebody? Oh, 
Down there, give me something. From Shaft. Hello! Sounds like someone's hurt. Better get some rope, Tonto. Hold on! We'll get you out! Hurry, Tonto! Don't let the mask frighten you. I'm a friend. Oh. Easy now, Tano. Let's haul them up. After that, I decided to find out if the mine was really worthless, so I took the rest of the afternoon off and came here. I was going to collect some ore samples and have them assayed. That's when I was slugged. If it hadn't been for you and Tonto, I probably would have been left in that shaft to die. Tell me, what originally made you suspicious of Young and Gray? Well, time and again, they approved large loans and properties I considered to be valueless. You brought this to their attention? I did, but they assured me that they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing, all right. This is one of the cleverest swindles I've ever run across. I told you they were slick. It's obvious the other properties were also owned by them under fictitious names. They've been lending the depositors money to themselves. What's worse, they've been getting away with it. Even fooling the bank examiners. Another month and they would have cleaned out the till. Only it won't continue on for another month. How are you going to stop them? With what? We don't even have a law officer in this district. What about Marshal Hawkins? He's not a real law officer, more like a private watchman. His wages are paid by public subscription. And the bank contributes the bulk of the salary. It's not hard to figure out who he'd side in with if it came to a showdown. I see. Tano, I want you to ride to Red Rock. Bring back the U.S. Marshal. Tell him we have some customers for him. Yes, Kimisani, right away. But in the meantime, Red Rock's a full day's ride from here. We still have no proof. It's my word against theirs. By the time Tano gets back, we'll have that proof. Now, if my plan works... You have a plan? Yes, but it'll involve a certain amount of risk. I don't mind. I'll do anything to trap those swindlers. Good. Now, here's what I suggest. Tomorrow morning, I want you to go to the office. Good morning, Stanley. Morning, Mr. Young. Mr. Gray. What... what happened to you? Slight accident. Nothing serious. Lester, come into my office for a moment. There's a matter I'd like to discuss with you. So Stanley Ammons is dead, huh? I can't understand it. I thought you said you plugged him. I said I disposed of him. What do you mean? It wasn't my fault, Wardell. The gun jammed, so I had to club him with it. Then I shoved his body down the mine shaft. Oh, you bungling idiot. But it was reasonable to assume he'd never get out. The sides were too steep for him to climb. He didn't fly out. No. He must have had help. What is it? There were two riders in the vicinity of the mine. A masked man and a redskin. But I got away before they had a chance to see me. Who'd have thought they'd go poking around? Oh, shut up. I'm thinking. That masked man, did he ride a white horse? Yes, and the redskin rode a paint. Why, do you know them? If my hunch is right, I know of them. That masked man might be the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? I told you we'd never get away with this. Why don't we clear out now while we've still got a chance? That may be precisely what they expect us to do. What? Don't you see? Put yourself in the ranger's place. He rescues Ammons out of the mine. Ammons spills the whole story, his suspicions about us and everything. But they need proof. Suspicions aren't enough. So the ranger tells Ammons to go back to work, thinking that the shock of our seeing him alive might rattle us into making some incriminating move. Such as? Such as leaving town with the bank's money. Which is exactly what we'll do. I thought you just said... Will you leave the thinking to me around here? It's a simple matter of mental artillery, my friend. Any time I can't match wits with a lone ranger and come out winners. Well, what are you doing now? Baiting a trap. Supposing Stan Ammons were to overhear us plotting to leave town tonight with the bank's funds. 
What would he do? Well, he'd probably try to get word to the Lone Ranger so they could nab us in the act. Excellent, Lester. You may go to the head of your class. worked. Just like you said it would. You should have seen their expressions when I walked in alive. And you say Young and Gray are planning to skip town tonight? Eight o'clock. I overheard them discussing it. They mean to come back to the bank, clean out the safe, and then hightail for the east. And they're playing right into our hands. If we can catch them with the goods, we'll have an airtight case. What's their next move? When they visit the bank tonight, we'll be waiting for them. It's dark. We're in time. They should be arriving at any moment. Can't be far. Come on. Hold it right there, mister. Hoist your arms. Better get their guns, Mr. Young. What did we tell you, Marshal? Just as we suspected. We figured that Stanley Ammons was planning to rob the bank. Catching him in a company of this masked outlaw proves it. That's a dirty lie, and you know it. You gotta admit it looks mighty bad, Stan. You're covering the wrong men, Marshal. We didn't rob anybody. On the contrary, we came here to prevent a robbery by the men standing next to you caught in the act, and he tries to shift the blame to us. Next thing you know, he'll be trying to say he's the Lone Ranger. That's true, Marshal. Check his guns if you don't believe it. They're loaded with silver cartridges. And what does that prove? Anybody can have silver bullets made up and wear a mask. The sooner those two are behind bars, the better. It's quite obvious they have no intention of divulging where they've hidden the money. Maybe a night behind bars will change their minds. In the meantime, Mr. Gray and I will remain here and inventory the losses. All right. Get along, you two. Just a moment. Seems to me you're mighty anxious for us to get out of here. What do you mean? Could it be there's something in the bank here you don't want found? Oh, can't you see, Marshal? He's just stalling for time. Now, hold on. What are you driving at, mister? Mr. Young claims we committed this holdup. I say there hasn't been a holdup yet. They staged this to make it look as if a holdup had transpired. It's my guess the contents in the safe is somewhere hidden in the bank. Preposterous. That's why they wanted to get us out of here so they could hide the money in a safer place. Lies. Nothing but a pack of lies. If I am lying, perhaps you don't mind if the marshal searches the premises. I do mind. I mind my integrity being challenged. I don't see how it could hurt anything, Mr. Young. Marshal, I now order Now look you. here, Mr. Young. Maybe you did pin this badge on me, and maybe you can take it away whenever you like. But get this straight. While I'm wearing it, I'm going to try to uphold what it represents. I don't know who's guilty of what around here, but I do know that I mean to see justice served. Marshal, go ahead and search. But I warn you, you're only wasting your time. Satisfied, Marshal? I told you we're wasting your time. Well, mister? Just a moment. Haven't you overlooked something, Marshal? What about that cabinet? That? The bank's private files are kept in there. Mark, hand me the key. I don't have one. Mr. Young has the only key. This farce has gone far enough. Surely, Marshal, you're convinced now. Open it. But I tell you, there's nothing in there but the bank's private file. Open it, Mr. Young. Open it yourself. All right, Marshal, what? don't move. I'm warning you, I'll shoot to kill. Get his hardware. Now what? You got us in a fine fix. Why didn't you save a Lone Ranger put that bag in there? I've got a better idea, Lester. We're gonna shoot them. All three of them. Make it look like they fought it out at close quarters. You don't think you can get away with that, do you, Wardell? Why not? As far as anybody's concerned, the marshal here found you two in the midst of robbing a bank. When he tried to arrest you, you resisted him, and, and then we take the loot and disappear. No. What? I can't take any more of this violence. Let's make a run for it. I can't take it, I tell you.
help. No, mister. I've had enough. All I can say is I'm mighty glad to see those two hombres behind bars. When I think how close they were to cleaning out the bank... I... It won't happen again. Now that Stan's in charge of things, the depositors are assured of an honest deal. I kind of hate to take this off, but after what happened tonight... Take it off nothing. If I've got anything to say about it, you've got that badge for keeps. Stan's right. When the people of Orville learn what you did tonight, I'm sure they'll agree with them. But, but you said yourself you sent for the United States Marshal. I'm going to ride out and meet Tonto. I'll tell the U.S. Marshal that he needn't bother coming back to Oroville. Oroville's own law officer has the situation well in hand. Adios. The citizens of Oroville shouldn't be grateful to me. They should be grateful to the Lone Ranger. <laughs>